what do you call it when dinosaurs crash their cars? Tyrannosaurus Rex. I will see myself out. That was terrible. Hey guys, welcome back to The Stemulus. I'm Steph Evs, and here's what happened this week in STEM. Recently, scientists discovered that this dinosaur uses its permanent duck face for something other than really embarrassing MySpace photos. Thank God that website is dead. What? It's not? Excuse me, just one second, just one second. Why won't you die? Anyway, when scientists first discovered Atatobentatus unicus in China back in 2014, it didn't take them long to notice its unique hammerhead shape. Its wide mouth is filled with both chisel-like and needle-like teeth, and in fact, its name even means strangely toothed. Originally, scientists thought this dino, who was swimming in the seven seas 242 million years ago, used its downturned snout to suck invertebrates out of the mud on the seafloor, and then filter the water and the mud back out through its needle-like teeth, much in the same way that some species of whale use their baleen. While they weren't far off on the how, what a unicus eats is actually quite different. As it turns out, the skull sample that they were originally studying was a little bit squashed, and it was the discovery of these two new, more intact skull samples that led scientists to their new conclusions. In the new paper published, scientists now state that they think that A. unicus is an herbivore or a vegetarian rather than a meat eater. They now think that this creature would use its chisel-like teeth to scrape algae off rocks in shallow coastal waters, use its wide mouth to create a significant suction force, bringing the watery mixture into its mouth, and then closing it. Then, using its tongue, it would force the water back out through the needle-like teeth, keeping the algae inside. This discovery is exciting for several reasons, the first of which is that marine herbivores were more rare than meat eaters during this period. In addition, it gives scientists new information about the recovery process following the end Permian extinction event, which was massive. It wiped out about 70% of land animals and about 90% of marine life. Scientists believe that the discovery of this creature and the diversity that it brings to the table may be an indication that the recovery process actually took less time than originally thought. So that brings us to our question of the day. What is the weirdest dinosaur fact that you've ever heard? Let us know in the comments section down below. As always, if you want to check out this story a little bit more in depth, I will include links to my sources down below along with links to all of my social media, so check that out in your free time. If you like STEM-related content and you want to see more videos like this, please feel free to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I'm putting out videos every week to talk about the latest and greatest in STEM news. As always, if you find any really cool STEM-related news stories throughout the week, please feel free to send them to me on Twitter at, at @thestemulus using the hashtag twistem, and they just might make the show. This story, in fact, was a submission by longtime friend of the show, Kathy Newman, so thank you, Kathy. Really appreciate it. But with that, that's all I have for you guys. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. Stay well, stay awesome, and I will see you next time.